Hey guys, I have my coffee. I am ready to get this day started, but before I turn on the apps, I did want to answer a question that somebody had asked. And the question was, is food delivery driving still worth it, especially with the way that gas prices are? And my answer to that would be, it's definitely worth giving it a try because you don't know until you give it a try. So there's three different apps. You got Grubhub, you got DoorDash, and you have Uber Eats. My suggestion would be to sign up for all three apps if you can sometimes there's a waiting list but whatever app you get approved for first or maybe you just get approved for one give that app a try so the best times to go out is going to be during the afternoon lunch time and then there's the evening time dinner time which usually is the best time to go another good time to go out is typically Friday through Sunday now granted you can get orders throughout the rest of the week but I think it's definitely worth giving it a try um, be picky about your orders do not accept every offer and see if your market is busy enough for you to be able to meet your goals maybe your goal is just to make a quick $50 in the evening time so definitely give it a try like I said each market is going to vary so for me the biggest thing with these apps the thing that I love most about it is the freedom I love being able to work when I want to I love being able to turn off the apps when I want to, if I have an appointment or I have something else going on. It's the freedom and also being able to make some decent money doing these apps on my own schedule. So you can't beat that. So I would say it's definitely worth giving it a try. I would say if you're considering driving, don't overwhelm yourself. Say to yourself, you know what? I'm gonna go Friday evening for two hours. Let me see how much money I can make. If you can make $50 in two hours, that's $20. $25 an hour. The other thing to take into consideration is the vehicle that you're driving. I drive a Prius. Now, when I initially started driving, I was testing it out. I wasn't sure if I was going to do this long term. I was driving a V6. The vehicle that I was driving was not the best vehicle uh, for me to be driving, especially, you know, your wear and tear on your vehicle. I realized that I can make some good money. I have my freedom doing this job. So then I went and got Pearl, my Prius, which I do not regret at all, which I've said many times. So definitely worth giving a try. Hands down, I don't regret it. I've been driving a while. I think it's been a little over two years now. So, um, and I do this full time. So again, it's gonna vary on your market. You gotta kind of figure out what works for you, the times that work for you, and a set a goal. Like I said, two hours, try to make 20, $25 an hour, and you, you learn along the way. You're gonna learn, hey, you know what? This restaurant isn't very fast. So maybe you'll avoid them during dinner time. So you'll learn as you go along the way. But for me, it's definitely worth giving a try. And that is what I would suggest. And for those of you that are still delivering, leave your comments down below if food delivery is still worth it. For those that may be considering it, what is your guys' thoughts? So let's go ahead and get these apps started. Let's see what we can get for today. I'm gonna go ahead and start with Grubhub, get that toggled on and go right on over to Uber Eats, tap the go button, and that one's on, and DoorDash, and DoorDash is ready to go. The last few times it's kind of dead, and then I can get on schedule all of a sudden, so I'm just going to go ahead and do till four, charge phone, enough gas, red card, hop bag, start dashing, and we are on all three, so we will see who brings me in the first order, and uh, we'll go from there. It took a moment as usual, and of course, I had to decline a few offers to get a decent offer. And the worst offer out of the three that I had to decline was for an Uber Eats order, which was $3.15 for 6.1 miles. I'm just like, <laughs> absolutely not so I held out as I usually do and I ended up getting a DoorDash offer for seven dollars 25 cents for 3.2 miles so I am heading there now I think I'm about three minutes um, away down the road so hopefully it'll be ready and we can get these wheels moving all right guys Yes, for Carmen F with DoorDash. Carmen S? F is in Frank. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. And 
and who you are. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You too. All right, order was ready to go. It's sitting behind the counter. Everything was uh, bagged up, which is always awesome. I know with Grubhub and 7-Eleven orders, I avoid those because a majority of the time, at least for me, based on my experience, the orders are never packed up and you're having to one wait for them to pack up the items and usually they're busy they got lines and short staffed and it's it's not even worth it unless unless the amount is just right so this customer is at three minutes 1.4 miles down the road it is a hand to me i did message a customer that i am on my way so they can get prepared to answer the door and i can hand them the order all right guys for Carmen? Yeah. Perfect. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. All right. And there you Thank are. You Have guys. a great day. Thanks. 7 Eleven order is dropped off. And like I said, I messaged the customer that I was on my way. And when I pulled up, uh, she was outside waiting, which was awesome. So base pay for this order was $4.25. Customer tip $3 making the grand total $7.25. So I am getting out of this neighborhood and hopefully we can catch another one soon. All right, guys, it has been dead. I have all three apps on and none of them have rang in. And the thing is, it is a really, really nice day out today. And you know, we get rain a lot. And then when it's really nice, it, it's, you know, it can be a lot quieter out here because people are dining out. Um, they're enjoying the sunshine. So right now it is super, super dead. I am gonna go get my air pressure checked at American Tires because you can just pull up and um, they will check it for free. And if I need air, they're gonna uh, put the, the required amount in. So we are heading there now. And the area that they're in is where there's a lot of restaurants. I usually go to this area too to get offers. So um, yeah, we're heading there. So I am pulling into Discount Tires and for my discount tires, they have an area um, that states you can pull up for your air pressure check. Now I know Les Schwab is all over the place. Les Schwab, um, from what I recall, they don't have an area that's marked for it. I just usually pull up to the bay and somebody will come out and check with check with you and, and ask you what you're there for and, and they'll take care of your air pressure. So let's get this checked. Oh. Hi there. Can I get my air pressure check, please? Yeah, you're looking for all four. Yes, please. And to factory PSI. Factory. So he is checking all four of my tires. I told him I wanted it set to factory PSI. He looked in my uh, door, my driver's door, which has the PSI set for my factory. Um, so not having sufficient air in your tires, of course, can affect your gas mileage. So it's definitely a good idea to always get your tires checked once in a while. I try to do that if I have some downtime to make sure everything's good. So uh, we'll see what he says when he comes back. Awesome. How are they? Um, they're perfect. They're just a little bit high. Oh, okay. Um, that has to do with just driving on them. They're warm right now. Okay. Uh, so pretty much in the cold mornings, they'll drop down a little bit. All right, guys. Tires are good to go. No issues. So, of course, I've gotten quite a few unreasonable offers. Low pay, high miles, just automatic declines, nothing good out here right now. I think people are just outside enjoying the sunshine. Um, so I'm gonna take a spin and see what we can get, but it ain't looking good right now. It happens, it does happen. It comes with the territory. So eventually I should get something, but I'm gonna take a spin and um, I need gas too. <laughs> so, all right guys. All right, the offers, one, it was like completely dead for a bit. And then all of a sudden the offers are coming like crazy. But they are all really bad offers. So back to back to back of declining. And I held out as usual. The most reasonable offer that's came my way in a bit is Red Robin. It's Uber Eats. $6.63 for 3.4 miles. Red Robin is a couple minutes around the block. So we are heading there now. Grab this order. Drop it off. Hopefully we can get another good one. All right, guys. Please do not wait in or block this area. Uh-huh. Naomi, perfect. 
food was ready sitting on the shelf. There was no other bags, just this customer's bag sitting on the shelf. So we are on our way. Drop off is eight minutes, 2.5 miles. And um, we'll see what else we can get. I'll turn on my other apps in a moment and hopefully we can catch something along the way. All right, Red Robin order is dropped off and I was able to manage to catch a pot belly sandwich on DoorDash. 1.9 miles, $7.25, I'm on my way there now. So the house for the Red Robin was a leave at door and they left instructions not to knock or ring doorbell, which like I said, I don't usually do unless specified in the notes. Anyways, I'm pulling up to the vicinity of where the house is supposed to be and where the pinpoint is for their home, it's, it's a house that's kind of set back from the road. You got to kind of drive in on one of those driveways. So I'm looking around before I go into this long driveway, I'm looking around for some sort of indication of their address. You know, sometimes it's spray painted on the curb or there's a mailbox right in front of their home to just kind of verify that that is their home. Nothing, nothing at all. And I'm like, oh gosh, not again one of these houses that there's no address, no way to verify that it's their home. And I let them know that I was on my way. They could have given the color of the house. That would have definitely helped, but they didn't. So I'm like, it has to be the pinpoints on here. Hopefully there's an address somewhere where I could verify that this is the house. Cause sometimes, you know, a neighbor next door will use, you know, a pinpoint option and it'll drop the pin on the neighbor's house and the order can get misdelivered. That's happened now. Rarely does that happen, but it does happen occasionally. I've had that happen. So, I, you know, pull up, I was like, this has to be the house. I pull up, I get out, and sure enough, when I get up to the front door, it's nothing you can see visible from their driveway because the way their house is angled, you have to literally walk up on their property by their front door to see this little address to verify that I'm dropping off at the correct house, which I don't like. You know, you want to make sure that you're walking onto the right property. You never know whose property you're walking onto. Anyways, I was able to confirm the address, dropped it off, but I actually had a situation happen last week. I was picking up an order for KFC and something very similar I had to, and I let the customer know that I'm on my way. It was like, I think they're called like flag lot properties where they're kind of off the road, kind of set back behind another house. So I'm getting close to the area, you know, the pinpoints kind of letting you know where you need to go. No instructions at all except leave at front door. So I'm like, okay, I kind of see the, the flag lot, the driveway and that usually indicates, you know, pull in and there's usually maybe a, a couple houses, one to the left, one to the right, which there was. Pinpoint is landing on the house to the left. No indication, no mailbox, no spray painted address on the curb, nothing. No address on the house, no address stuck in the grass, nothing. Just a fence around the property, around the front door with, dogs in the front yard, two dogs in the front yard. And I'm like, no indication, nothing. So I messaged the customer because it's like, one, they said leave at front door. Well, there's a gate around their property and dogs in the front yard. One, I'm not gonna go into the gate. And I think there was a sign posted to beware of dogs. And I'm just like, and I got the neighbors next door staring at me wondering what I'm doing. Um, so I messaged the customer and I was like, is your house such and such color? Do you have this type of vehicle sitting in your driveway? No answer, no answer, no answer. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Well, finally I get a message. Yeah, that's all I get to my question of, is this your house is, you know, is this your vehicle? And I'm like, wonderful. So I'm going up to leave the bag by their fence and I got this big dog freaking jumping at the fence, growling at me and I'm like, you know, the person could have one, put the dogs in the house. Maybe they didn't, they put the dogs out because they don't want me coming into their gate. There's no address anywhere. I mean, I looked around where addresses would typically be everywhere. No address. I'm assuming 
assuming these people don't want to be found. I don't know. They don't want me going in the gate. I'm assuming that's why the dogs were out. But I'm just like, at least give some information if you don't have any address on your house. So frustrating. Anyways, I am heading to Potbelly. Should be there shortly. And uh, we'll go get this order and get it dropped off. All right, customer's order was ready sitting on the shelf and they are three minutes, one mile down the road. They're in a hotel. Now in the notes, it says for immediate delivery, large tip. I've seen those kind of notes before. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it is a hand to me at door, so we will see. Um, we are heading there now. All right. Hi there. How's it going? Okay. All right, there's the drink for you. Okay, in the food. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Potbelly order is dropped off. Now the customer, like I had said, uh, left in the notes a large tip for immediate delivery. So I don't ever rely on those. Sometimes they're old notes and a lot of the times if they're gonna give you a big tip, they give you a big tip without even saying it. And so I never hold my breath on those. If it happens, it happens. Go right ahead. Um, so I get up to, you know, I drop it off. They don't hand me a cash tip. And I'm, you know, I'm not gonna get my feelings hurt by it. Like I said, I've had these notes left before and a lot of times it doesn't happen. And deliveries that I've dropped off, it doesn't have any notes about leaving a tip and they hand me a tip. So if they, if I get one, I get one. Anyways, I complete the order and they actually left a big tip in within the app. So the base pay for this order was $3.25 and for the customer being right around the corner for the restaurant, they left a $9.10 tip, making the grand total $12.35. So the offer was originally $7.25. So they followed through, they said what they were gonna do, which is very kind of them. So while I was dropping off the Potbelly sandwich, I did get an offer for Panda Express on Uber Eats, $10.50. 4.2 miles, not a bad offer, it's about time. And uh, we are heading there now. I'm actually right around the corner. I'm just gonna make this turn. All right, guys, we're heading in. Thank you, appreciate it. Hi, what's your name? It is, oh goodness, hold on one second. Hannah W. Hannah? Yeah. So I'm on the phone with support because I go into Panda Express and they're telling me that they never received the order. And from the vibe, I'm assuming it was the manager from the vibe that I got, I bet other drivers have been in here for this order because I'm also getting the red triangle that your customer is waiting. Yes, I'm here. Hi, Brianna. Thank you so much for patiently waiting on the line. I got a uh, confirmation from their staff who answered the phone. They said you already made the order. You can now go ahead and pick this up and proceed with the delivery as usual. Okay? That's not... Okay, I'm going to put you on hold because I've checked with two separate employees who both told me that they do not have the order. So I'm not sure who you talked to. Um, did you get their name by chance? No, I'm sorry, but they did confirm that the order for Hannah W was already made and uh, there's no delivery person there trying to pick it up. So I wonder, uh, I, I wonder if the order was made and picked up by a driver and never delivered because like I said, I'm here right now, spoke to a manager and they're saying that they never received the order. Would you like me to get the manager on the phone? It's okay. Uh, we're not allowed to do that. Uh, okay. On this one, I'm just going to advise you to cancel the order. Uh, please select. Okay. My, 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 con sir, my concern is I've Go already ahead. tried picking up the order. Um, I've spent some time at the restaurant, so I'm looking for some compensation yes. for my time. No worries. Uh, there is a uh, standard $3 miscellaneous payment for this type of scenario. Okay. Uh, I'm already issuing it right now. Okay? Wonderful. I appreciate it. Thank you. And then you'll also cancel out the order? 
Uh, for that one, I'm going to have to ask you to cancel the order. But uh, if you're worried about the cancellation rate, uh, no need to worry about that. It's already been updated. I have the uh, special notations here. You won't be affected by that, okay? Okay, and when will I see that $3 post? Are you doing that right now? Yes, as we speak. Okay, so I just want to make sure that I see that before hanging up. Of course. Uh, okay. Have you canceled the order already? No, I was waiting for the compensation first. I see. Okay, I'm going to have to ask you to cancel that so that I can issue the payment. It's just, uh, Is that a just I'm not able to okay. push through with this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the, the triangle down at the bottom, and then what do you want me to choose? Just please select excessive wait time. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and yes, cancel order. Okay. And there we go. You should be able to see the $3 right now. Perfect. Let me go into my earnings and take a look. Perfect. I see it there. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, anything else I can assist you with, Brianna? Nope. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for calling over priority support. You have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye now. All right. Hopefully I caught some of that. So support said they spoke to somebody in the restaurant, which I'm here and I've spoke to, I spoke to two individuals in here that said they never got the order. Now, typically what happens is they've gotten the order, they've made the order, another driver picks it up and they'll tell you order's already been made, it was already picked up. They're saying that they never received the order, but support is saying that they spoke to somebody in the restaurant saying that the order's already been made and it's ready for pickup. Well, that wasn't the case and I literally just left. So I don't know what's going on. It, it's to me the way the vibe that I was getting from what looked to be a manager is that I wasn't the only driver coming in there for this order and then I have the uh, prompt coming in that the customers are waiting have you guys ever received one of those and I'm like I just I just got here it's not like I was somewhere else hanging out and decided to come I was on my way anyways um, he wanted me to cancel the order and didn't talk about compensation. I wanted to make sure that I got my compensation because there, at least in my area, there's a $3 compensation for me at least trying to complete this order, which I got. I made sure that I got it because he's doing things different than what I'm used to. Usually the representative in the past, at least for me, will cancel out the order and issue the compensation. He wanted me to cancel the order so he could issue the compensation. So I wanted to make sure that I seen the compensation before hanging up because I ain't gonna get the same representative if I have to call back. So I made sure everything was there before I hung up. That's taken care of. I don't know what's going on in Panda Express today. Um, but we got our $3 compensation. It's a real bummer that I didn't get the Panda Express order, but what happens in these situations, I have my other apps on because this was low miles. I got an offer next door for Chick-fil-A, one mile, $6.50, and I am literally, I could walk right over there but I'm not, I'm gonna drive over there um, and get this order and hopefully it's sitting on the shelf. What a bummer though, what a bummer. Um, yeah, this it's it comes with the territory, so <laughs> we gotta keep these wheels moving. All right, guys. I got the order, the wheels are moving again. It was sitting on the shelf. The customer actually just wanted a salad, so easy. Uh, we are three minutes, 0.8 miles. Um, we're gonna go get this order dropped off and this will probably be my last order. It is food time. All right, guys. All right, order is dropped off, easy to find. And I got a dog and somebody walking of the road all righty then moving real slow and this will be my last order for today i will leave my earnings at the end and appreciate you guys as always riding along and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys